Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're trying to sync up with your Windows clock to the internet or internet time and you're noticing that an error has occurred while Windows was synchronizing. And it says this operation returned because the timeout period expired. So we're going to go about how to hopefully resolve this without too much of a hassle and we're going to go and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu, just soft click on the start button one time, type in services, best match should come back with services right above app, just go ahead and left click on that. You want to locate the Windows Time service, so scroll down, locate Windows Time and go double click on that. You want to set startup type to automatic, and if it's stopped, you want to set the service status to running by selecting the start option. So let's apply and OK. And once that's done, you can close out of here. Another thing you try would be to right click on the taskbar's clock and just right click on it and select adjust date and time. Select the sync now button and see if that has resolved the problem. Another thing we can try and do here would be to actually go ahead and reset or re-register the Win32 time and we're going to close out of here. What you want to do at this point is open up the start menu, type in CMD Best match should go back with command prompt. You want to go right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and left click on the yes option. And now I'm going to have several commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy each one one at a time and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt as you're about to see. And we're just going to be pasting them in. So copy them from my description. The first one is net stop w32 time and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste to paste it in. Hit enter on your keyboard. And now we're going to copy the second command here. So w32tm space forward slash unregister. Should say it's been unregistered. And now we're gonna register it here. So again, same thing we've been doing. Should say it has been registered. And now we're going to start it back up. So net start W32 time. It's going to start that up. And then finally, one more command here and hit enter. It should say the command completed it successfully. So at this point, with the just closing out of here, restart your computer and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.